Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you a spe special effects gel polish that I've been sent by Born Pretty Store. This one comes in a 10ml bottle and it's got the colour number on the top there. Um, and when I first got this in the post I thought well what's so special about it really? You open up the bottle and it just looks like sort of a bog standard black grey sparkly gel polish there's nothing really that impressive about it until you start using it so I'm just going to use it and show you and then you will see why it is so brilliant normally you'd use a base coat first This goes on really nicely as well, I have to say. It's really highly pigmented, so you can put it on really thinly. It's a really good finish. Okay. And that one's going to go into the lamp for... seconds. Let's have a look. I'll try 30 seconds, LED, and we'll see how we go. With some of these products, depending on the number of pigments that are in them, it's, it's quite hard to know whether or not to cure it for 30 seconds or for a full minute with LED or again, two minutes with UV. Um, generally speaking, the higher the pigment content in the gel polish, the longer the cure time needs to be. Um, so particularly if you're doing nail art and you're adding in pigments, it's something to, to bear in mind that actually you need to make sure you're leaving enough time for your product to cure. Now, I've put this on for 30 seconds. And now hopefully you can see what makes this a special effects polish. It, ha it has gone completely matte and it almost has, it sounds really bizarre, a cement-like look to it. I don't know, I'm not really sure whether you can see that. I'll pop on a second coat and then you'll be able to see the difference between the cured product and the next coat we're putting on. I do it if it so I can put it to So you can see now, no shine whatsoever. When it goes on, it is shiny. So again, I'm going to put a nice thin coat on. 30 seconds seems to have cured that fine. And pop that one in for 30 seconds on there. With this one, because it is a matte gel, um, you don't actually need to use a top coat at all, which is really cool. But I haven't actually used this on natural nails yet. I've had used it on acrylics, it's lasted wonderfully on acrylics. I haven't used it on natural nails. And my only sort of concern, I guess, would be that if you're not top coating it, what's protecting that gel from discoloration, um, from chipping? I'm, I don't know, but it seems such a shame because the finish is absolutely gorgeous on it. Can you see? It's like completely matte but it's still got a little bit of sparkle to it and it's got real depth. It almost, my husband said, oh, it looks like cement. I guess it kind of does. I think it's more attractive than cement, personally, but it is really, really gorgeous. Um, I might give Born Pretty an email and just say, do they recommend using a matte top coat over the top of this or is it good just to find just to leave it? When it comes out, it's not sticky either and um, usually that means that you don't need to actually put anything onto it. Um, what I'll do is I'll give them an email and when they get back to me I'll add a little note in the comment box. I'll also put in a link for where you can buy this and for the price of it as well. I hope this has been useful for you guys. I think this is gorgeous and I can't wait to use it more. Bye!